Hester's personal banner. And up comes Hester. If we had headphones, uh, we would listen to her explain her process. So these high school students made this logo and they also made a one minute compressed time video of the making of the logo. Boom. They draw underwater. <laughs> incredible. So these pictures were all created underwater. Exactly. Right? She's just knocked it out of the park. Took a picture of her students. Two things they had to do, bring it into Photoshop and do something. Then she gave them markers and she wanted them to color right on the photo. Photoshop. Oh my goodness. Oh, so you can uh, you can actually have multiple layers. Yes, absolutely. Photoshop. Wow. Markers. Excellent. So let's take a look at the small planet here. The overlay comes up and it's a movie of the high school comics. The easiest way to explain AR is from your perspective, the user perspective. As someone who wanders into the A Art Gallery to look at augmented reality art, there are producers and there are users. I was the producer on the A Art Gallery project in that I scanned a lot of student work and I put it up into the cloud and made all that magic happen. But from your perspective, what you do is you go out to your app store with your iPad or your iPhone or whatever it is you're using and you download a piece of AR software. In our case we used Erasma. So you download that and then you wander into the art gallery with that up and running. You sign on to Jason Oler's channel, no space between first and last name, and you look at a piece of artwork up on the wall and that artwork is a trigger. It's what's known as a trigger in the AR world. And it triggers what we call an overlay that comes down from the cloud. So you look at a piece of artwork that's up on the wall, that triggers something else that mixes with that. Could be a video, could be an extension of that piece of artwork. And the AR software sort of acts like a window because as you're looking through your iPad, you're seeing what's up on the wall. It's just that it triggers something else that comes down from the cloud and mixes with it. And that's basically how AR works. Practicing, here audio becomes really important. They're practicing you. So you can lay soundtracks on uh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. That's very interesting. This is actually 3D. So he did this with a, sort of an upscale CGI workstation that they have at Thunder Mountain. Mm -hmm. Thunder Mountain High School. This is 3D. Look at that. And because it's 3D, you and I can go like that and I can actually see underneath the house. <laughs> That's wild. Inner dialogues. So a picture of you and a picture of sort of what's Excuse going me, on. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneak head. behind you here. Sure. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's That's really a little good. intense, isn't it? Yeah. Somehow I don't think so. But it's great to have you here. What an honor. And there it is. Which I love, by the way. That's just incredible. What's that done with? Paper? Paper. Cut paper. Cut paper. Second grade. This is what he's thinking about. And he created this, what we're about to see. Okay. And so that gives you the idea, but then you, you sit back and go, I get it. I have one important, meaningful piece of data, a picture, a visual of some kind, 
and it's triggering associated meaningful data. Mm -hmm. Then your mind goes to work on that, my God, I could be outside walking around looking at something. I could be in a school and I'm looking at a plant. And down comes the research the students have done on the plant. This is one half of AR, the other is GPS based, which is sort of meaningless here because geographically the distance between here and here is is meaningless. So this is all visually triggered. Mm -hmm. But I was talking to a group of people about doing something where they walk around their very small village and the kids have researched the historical significance of a couple of the buildings. Mm -hmm. and so literally as you walk up because it knows where you are, down comes as you're looking at the house, down comes that layer of research that they've created. Holy moly. Wow. I've seen Google Glasses. That They're coming out. Is it, this, kind of the, this, is, this is it, yeah. except we would be wearing glasses. Mm -hmm.